Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Things Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today I'm going to start another series on parasitology. I have got a lot of comments and many of the students they want to learn about parasitology. We will try to cover the basic terms, key terms that are involved in the study of parasitology. So basically we need to first understand the basics of uh, parasite and host relationships. We will come across many of the key terms like parasite, ectoparasite, endoparasites. We need to understand what is the meaning of host, what is the meaning of parasitism. So in this video lecture, I'll try to clear out all these basic concepts. Uh, I'll try to clear out the meaning of all these basic concepts. So please stay tuned. If you like the video, then please do subscribe to the channel. Now let's start the video. All right, let's start the topic with the name, which is parasitology key terms. So as you can see, uh, I'm writing it down, parasitology. Now, we need to understand what do you mean by parasitology? And I'm sure everyone knows the meaning of the term, which is parasitology, study of parasites. But before studying the parasites, we need to understand what are the basic concepts, what are the basic terms in parasitology. So that's the topic. As uh, I have already indicated that we need to understand what is parasitology. And parasitology is nothing but the study of parasites. When we study parasites by using various tools and techniques, we call that area parasitology. So let me let me just show you one diagram and I'll try to uh, you know explain the meaning of parasitology. Suppose you have a big circle, right? And that's your parasitology. And there are very tiny small circles in that these are nothing but all the parasites and parasitic diseases if you're studying the parasitology you will be studying a lot of different types of parasites including malaria parasite including uh, you have another parasite which is uh, trypanosoma so there are various uh, important parasitic infections so that is why we need to understand what are parasites, how parasites, uh, they are transmitting the disease. But to understand that, we need to understand the key terms in the parasitology. And the first term that we need to understand is parasite. What is a parasite? What is a parasite, basically? Parasite is nothing but an organism that can cause parasitic infections. There are different types of infections that are caused by parasite, including malaria, so we need to understand uh, those organisms and those organisms are called parasites. And in paras parasitology, we have two different categories, ectoparasites and endoparasites. It is very, very clear from the, from the word that is ectoparasite means parasite that is living outside the host surface or host body. Uh, if the parasite is living on the surface, or outside the host body, we can call it as an ectoparasite. If the parasite is present inside the body and living inside the cells, tissues, we can, we can call it as an endoparasite. So parasite living inside the host body, we can call it as an endoparasite. Ectoparasite means we have a lot of organisms like fleas. They are, they are living on the surface. They are trying to uh, take the blood uh, from our body. So these are some of the examples of the ectoparasites. Now, let me again show this little bit in a new in a creative way where i'm trying to show you the human body suppose this is the human body and that that is that is the host in this case if the parasite is present inside the body living in the organs tissues we can call this as an endoparasite so parasite living inside the body would be called as endoparasite and the, and the parasite if the parasite is present on the surface or outside the body, we can call it as ectoparasite. So outside the body means it, it can be present on the surface, right? It's not penetrating inside the body. So we can call it as a ectoparasite. So that's the another category of the parasites that is ectoparasites. So this, this we need to understand what is the difference. So I hope now it is clear. Next point, host. So I'm I'm using this term for parasite that at, at one side you have a host, another side you have parasite, means there are two parts of this particular 
concept. Host. Host is an organism that provides benefit for the parasite. It is usually a one-sided relationship where host is getting exploited by the parasite and that is why this relationship is also known as parasitism where only host is uh, basically getting exploited by the parasite and parasite is getting all the benefit and then then this relationship will call this relationship uh, as a parasitism where only one organism is getting the benefit so i hope now uh, you are all clear with the basic concepts. We have studied parasitology. We have studied uh, what are parasites, what is the difference between ectoparasite, endoparasite. We have also, uh, you know, find out that malaria disease is nothing but the parasitic infection. Uh, there are other parasitic infections like trypanosoma infection. We have also understood that uh, what is the uh, you know literally meaning of the host and what do you understand by parasitism so i will try to cover a few of the more interesting topics in the in the parasitology series and if you like the series then then please uh, you know stay tuned to the channel and you can show your support by commenting on the video so that i can i can make a new videos where i'll study or i'll try to discuss more uh, interesting topics in the in the area of parasitology uh, what i'm thinking is i'll i'll, mo I'll make uh, more videos on the topic of parasitology where we'll study different types of parasites so if you if you want to watch the videos then then please let me know you can comment on the on the video and i'll try to make the videos uh, on that specific topic of the parasitology so till then i'll i'll see you in my next video take care Thank you.